Hello, hello everyone, we're back again with another unboxing slash review. Today we've got Conan Etagawa from Detective Conan. So this is one of the, like the longest running series of all time. It is up to, I think it's over a thousand episodes at this point. It's pretty freaking crazy. It's really one of those series that you've got to really commit to. I, I started watching it um, in dub uh, way back way back in like 2013 or something. Uh, but the dub sadly never continued. Uh, so I eventually uh, ended up moving on to subbed kind of things. And I was like, oh, I'll just pick up um, Cased Closed where from where I left off. Uh, but it turns out it was actually under a different name, which was uh, Detective Conan. Or was it the other way around? Hold on, was it the other way around? Uh, da, 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 what does it say? Yeah, Detective Conan, Case Closed was the English version. I absolutely forgot to pull the seal off. Hold on, I'm gonna go get a box cutter. I'll be back. I have a box cutter now. Be safe. Don't stab yourself with box cutters. Um, but yeah, so, uh, essentially they changed a lot of the, the localization stuff for the dub. So, instead of Jimmy Kuda, uh, sorry, instead of Shinichi Kuda, which is Conan's actual name, he was called Jimmy Kudo, and uh, Ran was called Rachel. Uh, so I got used to, like, all their names, and then suddenly they were calling them different things, and I was like, what's going on here? Why is, why are they using the wrong names? And then I found out, oh wait, the localization changed everything. So, that was a bit of getting used to, but, um, I'm about, like, 300 or something episodes in every now and then I'll like just go through like a maybe a 20 or 30 uh, episode uh, Binge and then kind of leave it for a couple of months as well. Also, uh, this box is kind of unique Which like hey, it's kind of cool, but at the same time this is gonna mess up my Shelf look because I have them all displayed like this so having like a giant cutout will be weird, but oh well it, it is a nice looking box, so I'll let it slide. But yeah, I, I there's a long way to go, and honestly, I, if I hadn't started it back then, I probably never would have stuck with it now, uh, because of how friggin' big it is. But here's our instructions, nothing too crazy. But let us get on to cracking Conan up. Ooh, there we go. Oh, if I pull that last one out. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Okay, here we have the usual stuff. Uh, extra neck piece, arm bit, base, nothing too fancy. Uh, let's try to put all these legs back into place. Is that the right way? Yep. Where does the bow tie go? Um, I do not know. I think it's supposed to be in one of the arms, so I'll leave it here for now. But let's uh, let's check Conan out. My nickname in uh, seventh grade, our science teacher used to give everyone nicknames, so he called me Conan the Barbarian. Uh, sadly, not Detective Conan. That would have been cooler. I was just getting into anime then, uh, so I hadn't even heard of. Detective Conan by then. Um, how do your glasses go on? Um, what are they attached to? Is it just... I'm not sure. It might just be... Put it on. And then put the head plate over it. Or the hair plate even. Yeah, okay, that's it. There's like a, a little gap over there that it sort of slots into. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that came off easier than I thought. And there he is. Looking very clean. Detective Conan's uh, art style is pretty unique, so they captured it pretty well. Like, the hair is, is a very, like, uh, Detective Conan thing as well as the eyes. Uh, if you look at it by itself, it kind of looks weird, but it just kind of looks right with Conan and other characters from that series, so fair enough. I've also watched, um, I think a movie that showed off Kaido Kid 
uh, you know, the Phantom Thief guy all in white. I do actually have that scale figure of him that I bought a long time ago, but I haven't, I've yet to watch the anime. Oh, it's even got the little, little back hair bit. Very cool. His hair kind of looks like an apple, that's what it reminds me of. A hairy apple. But very nice detail, I like the glasses. Ooh, look at that anime sheen. Haha, <laughs> you've fallen for my trap. Alright, hopefully that comes out of the video and I don't look crazy. Uh, here we have a skateboard. So, I actually have, um, fond memories of the skateboard. So, I used to do, uh, what was the subject called? It was, it was kind of like, it wasn't technical drawing, it was like, you did stuff in CAD and all of that, and, uh, you'd have to, like, make models and things. And we had a project where we had to do the marketing for a store. And so uh, we had to pick a product, uh, make the marketing for that, but also make that product in 3D to use renders for. Uh, so I actually made a skateboard way back when. So that was that was a lot of fun researching it and uh, figuring out how to do everything to make it look just right. Uh, I could never get this part right, this stuff here uh, that's holding the wheels on. So I just, when I angled it, I angled it like that so it didn't show off. Uh, anything that didn't look perfect, I just angled it so it, it wouldn't show off that side of things. So, like, I, I think I had it up like this, and then an angle like this. So it didn't show the bottom, because the bottom just wasn't there. But it, it worked out in the end, I got good grades for it, so I was happy. And then we have shouting faceplate with a bit of dust, or something here. Eh, eh. There we go, that's gone. Sort of. I'll clean up in a bit, but that is his shouting face. And then we have a kind of smug, uh, or not even a smug, but like a uh, what's going on? Why am I surrounded by idiots po face? Uh, he's even got a little sweat mark, which is nice. I like the angle of the mouth. Very nice. I, I guess you wouldn't really be able to use Conan with too many other androids because he's got such a unique uh, face. And here we have all the extra parts. We've got a couple of legs and things. What is this? This weird looking leg. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Um. Gosh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It's just got like a, a bit of something on it. I guess I'll figure it out later. Uh, then we've got, of course, his handy dandy bow that he uses throughout the show to uh, mimic uh, Mori's voice so he can pretend to be him solving the case because uh, no one's going to believe a 10 year old can solve a case. Uh, and then we've got all the different arms and stuff. Oh, this is a pocket. Okay, so if he's like putting his hand in a pocket because that goes with this arm here. That makes sense. I guess these arms are to hold different things. The bow probably goes in there. But let us move on to some poses. Alright, here is our first pose for Conan. He's uh, riding on a skateboard, running off to go and save the day. Uh, probably communicating with either the professor or one of the other kids uh, with his watch. Which isn't actually on his arm, but like we'll pretend it is because uh, it's iconic. Uh, it would have been nice if they included that on that uh, handpiece. Also, it's hard to uh, keep him upright, balanced on the skateboard. Uh, but it is pretty cool. Uh, I will say it might be a little difficult to pose him with the skateboard because there isn't anything to hold the skateboard in place. You kind of have to pose the figure first. Just plop the, the Nendroid on top of the skateboard and hope it all works out fine. But uh, I think it is a very cool pose anyway. It, it works well, it does the effect well, and it's kind of got the angle as well as like the legs work. Uh, one thing to note though is, if you look at it from any other angle, the kind of leg pants thing sort of falls apart, so you've kind of got to look at it from uh, an angle that doesn't show off the other sides of it. Which is a bit of a shame, but like, ah, I guess it does the trick. But anyway, let us move on to the next pose. Alright, here is our next pose. I actually quite like this one as well. Uh, he's kind of got that kind of condescending look on his face, uh, hand in pocket, and he's kind of like gesturing like, eh, why? Or Shogunai, can't help it. 
kind of thing. I really like it, but uh, also one thing to note with the pocket hand, it actually, it fits really, really well. You can't tell that this is like a separate piece unless you're really looking for it. So uh, it actually just kind of snaps into place. There's like a ridge over there and it kind of cuts across. Let me try and pull it out and see if I can show you. So there's kind of that, that exact gap there that when you put it in the right position, it just kind of clicks into place and then bam, you're done. That's it. It works and it works well. Which is good, this, that's always what I want to see in an Android. Things just uh, working and clicking into place without too much effort. So again, very nice pose, very nice face plate. I like it, I'm digging the pocket hand thing. But let us move on to our final pose of the day. Alright, here is our final pose for Conan. The kind of accusation pose, or like kind of, he's the culprit pose, uh, I'd like to call it. Which is pretty cool, I think it's a great pose. So I'm gonna keep him like this on my display. It's uh, it's pretty simple. It's essentially the same thing as uh, it was last time. Same pocket hand, uh, except this time we replace uh, his right hand with a uh, kind of pointing out one, uh, which is like the accusation hand. The, the you did it, uh, as well as he's got a shouting face on, uh, can uh, pretty much explaining who who done it, which of course uh, every great detective show needs. Uh, who did it, uh, which is pretty great. So yeah, there's honestly not too much to say about that post, so let's get on to the review portion. Honestly, I really like Conan. I think he's a great Nendroid. I think he's like a, a must-get for any Detective Conan Case Closed fans. So only thing I would say is a bit of an issue is that pocket. So the leg that has a, well, sorry, not a pocket, but the leg that kind of bends uh, as if his pants is going up when he's on the skateboard. It doesn't look too fantastic if you get a different angle, so I'm going to take one point off for that. But other than that, there are no flimsy parts unless you want to include the glasses, which you probably won't break unless you're really, really not careful with it. So other than that, I think everything else is great about him. He's got some great poses. They captured the figure really well. The details are perfect. Everything falls into place. It's easy to pose. It's a great figure. So I'm going to give Conan a 9 out of 10. So if you're into it, go and pick him up because he is pretty freaking cool or else he's going to accuse you of murder. Don't do that. Conan will be mad. But that's going to do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more Nendroid content. Tomorrow we'll be doing uh, Nendroid Petite and uh, I'm going to tell you now, it's, uh, it's one worth watching. Uh, it's Finally, we got something exciting. Uh, probably the best one out of the bunch, I would say. So look forward to that. And then, of course, on Friday, we'll pick it up back again with our usual Nendroid videos. We're going to do Arthur Pendragon prototype costume dress white roses version. So that'll be out on Friday. But that's going to do it for me for this one. And I will see you all in the next one. All right. Bye.